On third down, Trubisky. That's complete to Meredith. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. And a nice gain of 21 yards. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. Yeah, that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Throwing here, Trubisky. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Dontrell Inman, the intended target. Third down here. Well, he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. Now let's go. 319. On third down, this is Howard. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. That'll be good for six, but now it's fourth down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. Here's Pat O'Donnell to punt in his fourth year from Miami. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. And now before this fourth and two play comes to fruition, they're going to think about it and call a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. Let's go. They go with Howard again. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Give him three on the play, and they're able to pick up the conversion here on fourth down. All right, here we go. On first down, Trubisky. And the catch made by Dontrell Inman. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. So here we go, first and 10 now. From the shotgun is Trubisky. Steps away to his left. Now Trubisky lost the football. But the Bears look to get this one back, and indeed they did. So they'll keep possession. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about, getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. Exactly right. A lost opportunity. Now Trubisky. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here, this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of, otherwise he was going to get sacked. And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. This is Howard on second down. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And that'll force upon him a third and 14. Here's Trubisky. They'll set up the screen to Howard. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. 
The screen good for six, but it's not enough as it leads to a fourth down. They dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down with a defense gap there and finished it off. So they get three. They were hoping for six, and unlucky number 13 play drive. Well, you go to the sideline after putting three points on the board, happy, but you wanted to be ecstatic. You wanted to have six on the board. On the opposite sideline, though, the defense, I think they're high-fiving each other, only giving up three after letting them run that much offense. carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to go deep for Funches. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. What I loved about meeting with these coaches before the game is we didn't even have to ask any questions. They told us that they were going to be aggressive and push the ball downfield. They weren't successful on that play, but look for them to try it again later. On second down, McCaffrey. McCaffrey with a first down and more. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. The rookie from Clemson, this is Wayne Goldman. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. And the offense will be looking to get at least some of this yardage back here. It's second and 12. They'll run again here with Goldman. And he's brought down. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. That's how you get right up off of the map because on the last play, they stoned him in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. But he's the type of guy that scared me a little bit because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down with his very next run. And a solid run down inside the 30. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Newton now to throw. That is caught at the seventh, and he doesn't quite make it. They do stop him, but he gets it all the way down to the one. A very solid gain of 27. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. And here is motion again. And that's going to be two in a row. So now it's first and goal. McCaffrey following the penalty. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. It'll be a pickup of eight and a good first step there with second and goal coming up. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. From the four, it's second and goal. Now a run with McCaffrey. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Now whistles. Flag down, and I believe one of the Panthers got moving early. 
That'll go as a loss of five. And that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. This is Goldman. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Panthers are going to take a first quarter lead. And it's up and good. The kicker, Roberto Aguayo, has it teed up and is about ready to get this one started. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Now the Bears offense ready to take over again. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets them a new set of downs. Fresh set of downs here. Now it's Trubisky. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's good play. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. They hold him to only two there on the screen. It's second down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. Now Trubisky to throw on second. The catch is made by Kendall Wright. And he's finally taken down, and it's a big game there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. down with Trubisky on the right side this is Miller and they've got it inside the 10 at the 8 another big hitter there this one good for 18 and the game just keeps evolving big guys running those corner routes so difficult to cover two big plays in succession not sure this D knows what hit them but now they got to get ready it's first and goal Again, it's Trubisky. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. It's a guy who played four years for the Bears, Julius Peppers. Able to collapse the pocket and drop him for a loss of a yard. On second down, Trubisky. Buying time to his left. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. On third and goal, Trubisky. And incomplete. Almost intercepted. The D lineman almost had it. Couldn't hang on. A missed opportunity for an interception would have killed off a drive. They had a chance there to finish things off. Didn't get it done. I guess that's why a lot of those guys did not play offense. And Santos able to put this one up and through. It's good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. 
So the drive takes him inside the 10, but it ends with just three. And a nice job defensively to rise up and make sure they didn't get in. A reminder later tonight, a game some folks have had circled on their calendars since the schedule came out in April. That's the Super Bowl rematch. Falcons, Charles, at Foxborough to take on the Patriots. Super Bowl 51 and a half, anyone? <laughs> then on Monday night, that's no slouch either. An NFC East battle between the Redskins and the Eagles. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Second down, here's Newton. Now they go screen, it's complete. And a big collision there as he winds up flat on his back right there around the 35-yard line. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. On first down, this is McCaffrey. It's a room to maneuver. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. I love when a play results in a game that I can actually kind of fall back on one of my favorite adages, and that is anytime there's a run over 10 yards, it means that the offensive line did its job, but you know who else did? The wide receiver. Because the first seven yards kind of belong to the offensive line and the running back. Anything after that means the wide receiver did a great job of blocking downfield, being willing to mix it up, and give them some more space to gain additional yardage. They fake the give. Newton finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. A gain of six there on first. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And that's going to make it third down and ten. From the gun, here's Newton. That is caught at the seven. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Panthers add on to their lead. And his kick is good. The kicker, Roberto Aguayo, has it teed up and is about ready to get this one started. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Bears offense now heading back out onto the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. You put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, good thing. Let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about Toe that. Toe <laughs> Super tall. <laughs> Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Miller. And he's brought down after a good game. That one goes for 24 yards. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one. And that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. From midfield now, here's Trubisky. 
And right with it here over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one goes for 24 yards. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Now Trubisky on first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. A minute 57 to go in this first half. We're back to Soldier Field following this short break. They'll run it now, out of the gun, down to the 25. Only a yard on the pickup there, so it leaves them needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. The Bears on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and nine. Here's Trubisky to throw. That's caught by Meredith right side. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. And Santos able to put this one up and through. It's good. And that'll get the lead down to five. So that's three field goals for him now, but heck, he's not even halfway to his career best of seven. Seems like the seven field goal games are the kind of games I always get assigned to in my other job. Let's hope for this offense's sake they can start cashing in on a few of these drives. Carolina getting set to take the field. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Open now to get back in the end zone on his fourth possession. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives them a new set of downs. Now a first down throw for Newton. And his throw here is incomplete. Greg Olson was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you at important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. So the myth has been shattered. Every cornerback in the league is not just a cover corner. Some of them will stick their nose in there. And Looking for Funchess, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Bryce Callahan. <laughs> And he's into the clear. 20. And he will score. Touchdown, Chicago. Make it back-to-back -back weeks now with a pick six for him. He had one a week ago. Talk about being in the groove. And what are the odds of what we're seeing right here? You don't see it happen very often. Listen, if you get a pick six in a season, it's been a big year, let alone back-to-back -back weeks. Tell you this, I wouldn't play cards against this guy in the <laughs> locker room. 
So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now onto the field, here come the Panthers. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Coming off the pick six, it's Newton. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Hodges. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. First down. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. And the next snap coming inside the red zone here. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. This just a 35-yard attempt from the left hash. So they kick it through to take the lead. There is a little bit of time left, though, here in the second quarter. And while they're concerned about not giving up a big return or giving up points themselves going into the half, how good do they feel, though, putting points on the board themselves right near the end of the first half? At some point, we're going to get it through our heads. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Final play of the half. It's Trubisky dancing to his left. He's still barreling through. <laughs> and he's brought down. So we come upon halftime. Intermission here. The second half upon us sooner than we bargained for. Let's get to it. These teams are out and ready to go. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead. And we resume action here in quarter number three. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Being chased out left. Now he's going to let it go deep back over the middle. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. That one didn't quite make it to the target, but that's not always a function of the strength of the arm of the quarterback, is it? Sometimes there's just too much pressure there. In any case, the ball doesn't arrive. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. 
And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance to turn that into points on the offensive end. Can you imagine what the grease board looks like at the half? Because no, tell me. <laughs> that's exactly what they printed up. Let's go. Stop Who them on defense, it? get the ball Who back for our it? offense, and go downfield and score some points. Now, the last part remains to be seen, but they got the first part done very well. Do people use grease boards, or you mean the magic marker boards? Yeah, those two. <laughs> Detroit! Detroit! They'll begin the drive with Howard. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Five yards there, and remember Howard last year, 5.2 yards per rush, so right around his average. The only Bears running back that's averaged that many yards per carry in a single season, Walter Payton. And if Jordan Howard can keep up that type of pace, the city of Chicago will surely embrace him. Again, it's Howard. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. He lost two there, and it's third down. All right, Brandon, you know me as well as anyone. You know I don't usually advocate abandoning things during a game, but here we are in the second half. I think it's time to change things up. Let the running game go a little bit. Let's get to the passing game, and if you still want to get in the hands of the runner, maybe you swing it to him, throw it to him a little bit. Try it that way. On third down, Trubisky. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Yeah, last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. Fielded just inside the 30. An excellent return that time, 26 yards. And the Panthers will take over in terrific field position. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. Room here to run. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. I love football lingo and the evolution of it all. Nickel defense makes sense, right? Five, Five defensive DB. backs. But then you go to six. What are you going to call that? And they call it a double dot. it. <laughs> and they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Chalk that up as their first sack in this game, and they tallied four a week ago. And probably not as much exultation in that sack as what took us so long. Because when you get four the previous week, you're counting on continuing that momentum. They didn't get that done in the first half of the game. Let's see now if they start to bring even more exotic pressure towards the quarterback. There's Newton now on second down. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. A good pick up there, a 22. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Bucky Hodges, his second touchdown on the season. And the Panthers are able to grow their lead. A good tight end is a heck of a weapon for any quarterback, especially when you're able to create some mismatches. Sometimes they work against a linebacker. Sometimes they work against a smaller defensive back. But when they find it, they go to it, and it often results in touchdowns. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Onto the field now come the Bears. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Yeah. 
Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. On second down, here's Trubisky. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked by Daryl Worland. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Well, this is one of the downsides of being a rookie quarterback. You know you're going to get called out about everything you do that goes wrong. Here, maybe he's a little uncertain about where to go with the football. And at this level, uncertainty equals turnovers. And this one winds up being intercepted. Now following the interception, here's Newton. That's Samuel, caught left side. And he'll be out of bounds, able to take this one down to the 20-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. And now inside the red zone, the offense will operate. McCaffrey on the counter. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. A great effort there with touchdown number seven on the year. And thanks to the interception, the Panthers' offense cashes in with six. The kicker, Roberto Aguayo, has it teed up and is about ready to get this one started. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Just don't want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down, and you know what offenses want? win first down so that can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. We got three. We got three. Cut. We got Green, three. 39. Green, 39. 56 is Mike. 56 is Mike. <laughs> now Howard. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. The Bears on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This is third down and 12. Running with Howard. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And now a high kick here as he'll try to hang it up there. And this ball is going to be touched out just shy of midfield. Carolina getting set to take the field. They are clicking on all cylinders. They seem to be just scoring at will right now, and that's why they've opened up this big lead. Now, we always talk about getting into the zone, and all athletes are seeking that, aren't they? Where everything is working for them, every move they make works, it clicks, and they are on point right now. Yeah, they are in that zone that you're talking about. And a nice gain of 21 yards. We've been together a little while now, partner. How often do we actually describe tight ends as nifty? Because that's what I think of when I see Greg Olson on the field. His ability to run routes, create space and separation, and make those catches downfield. Yeah, sure, consistent. The numbers the last couple of years almost identical and both over 1,000 yards. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Devin Funches. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Panthers add on to their lead. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right, RAC? Run after catch, and he loves that, and he's going to carry that in at contract time. 
And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not, He's not a team anymore. I just cut it. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, if some guy, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Second and ten now. It's Trubisky. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it was real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. The Bears on third down. It's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. This is third and ten. Out of the gun, Trubisky. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. This home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? They finally got one. Yes, they did. On first down, they run with Howard. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Worth noting, the largest deficit the Bears have ever overcome in their long history, 20 points against the Cardinals in 06. From the shotgun is Trubisky. Throw left side taken in by Meredith. A good pick up there, 26 yards. A nice job there, Charles. They picked up the blitz, were able to complete the pass. That had the total feel of a quarterback in control. Red blitz, got him into the right protection scheme, so he doesn't get hit back there. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver it downfield for a nice completion. Trubisky with a give to Howard. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. But it was stopped on that play. We've had plenty of carries all afternoon. Every now and then the defense is going to win one, but I don't think they'll shy away from handing it to him the rest of the game. Go on, go on. Are you going? Throwing here, Trubisky. Completion left side to Miller. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Back now at Soldier Field. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. There, guys. Now the offense lining up first and ten. here he's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage no gain on the play it'll be second down no gain on that run and while this team is down they're not out of it by any stretch of the imagination maybe you just have to think about different style of running in order to get this guy going now Trubisky to throw on second and he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Zach Miller, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Bears cut into that lead. The tight end position has always been dangerous, especially in the red zone. Short field, 
but now even more so because these tight ends aren't necessarily the tight ends of old. They're the rocked up wide receivers who have a little bit more speed, way harder to cover than before. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. They are just putting things together so well here, drive after drive. They really have captured the momentum, haven't they? They've taken momentum and pretty much not just give them a jersey, but a seat on the bench as well. Whatever do you need, you've got it because the way they're stringing things together and creating that distance between them and their opponent, it's really hard to narrow that gap. And the other part is they're taking their spirit away from them too. Yeah, now they're just looking to add to that total. Second down following the run. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And he's gonna lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be third down. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're gonna have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's gonna take to slow them down. Going up top. And it's knocked away and incomplete. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had the fly, just sending the guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. The Bears offense now gets set to head back onto the field. here on first down oh he's got a man wide open complete they give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains decent start there to the drive big hill to climb needing two touchdowns also a two two-point conversion so partner how do you eat an elephant well he's free going down the left side it's a foot race touchdown chicago his third touchdown now on the year. And the Bears get a bit closer. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Now it's Trubisky. And they're going to get the two. It's caught. So they get the conversion. And now we're back to a one-score game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession. That was punt the football because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing but control the game offensively, put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. So the offense has it. First and ten. A handoff, McCaffrey running right. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. 
Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Newton looking to throw on third and one. And he gets it to Funches complete. The 20, 10, and he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Devin Funches with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Panthers add on to their lead. Brinza now for the extra point. And the lead is up to 15 now. The kicker, Roberto Aguayo, has it teed up and is about ready to get this one started. This fielded at the two. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And they're hoping to capture some of that magic they had last time out when they were able to put together a scoring drive. But they're still down here, Charles. Not the major concern, though, because of what you talked about. They scored the last time out. They feel good about themselves. They feel like their game plan is now in effect. They know how to attack and what plays they want to put together. But they've got to keep it moving in the right direction because, as you did note, they are down on the scoreboard. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. They'll run it now out of the gun. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. From the gun on third down, it's Trubisky. Escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. So they took a shot there on third down, couldn't get it. Now it's four. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he's on to punt for Chicago. And he uncorks a beauty, best of the day. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. No gain on the play there. Second down. And now whistles and a flag. And I think we got a jump here. And he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped. But I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. But again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give them 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. And it looks like this will be the last play before the two-minute warning. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that'll make it second and 12. Time for a break. 
We'll come back and see this one out after this. Norman will run it. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here to have any hopes of winning this game. Pastor, you said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. And that is incomplete. Oh, boy, partner, did that just happen? I've got my hand over my eyes right now because, like, like him, it's going to haunt my dreams, too. He was wide open. How did he overthrow him there? Uh, defensively, just very lucky. You know that they got away with one there. Here's the Panthers punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And a big tackle there as the defender runs right through him. Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And the Bears take over. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Detroit! Detroit! Hey, hey, hey. They go with Howard to begin the drive. And a short pickup there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. On the toss play, Howard. Yeah, he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge? Whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football. If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for Carolina, the win moves them up to 5-2 and two now on the year. And they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers.